Welcome back everybody. This is Dave with Spider Monkey 2N. Today we're back out at the range and we're finally going to get our Foxtrot Mike 223 Wild Upper out and do a 100 yard group test with a bunch of different types of ammo that we got. Stick around, should be a lot of fun. Alright guys, whether you're new to the channel or not, we've had this uh, rifle out, or this upper out, very, or a couple times actually, and we've done some tests through it, we've done uh, devastation at three different range tests with 223, and that's what I like about 223 Wild, is you can safely shoot 223 Remington and 556 out of it, with no issues whatsoever. But I haven't done a group test yet, and I've kind of just accumulated a bunch of different types of ammo so far, I uh, haven't found one that kind of screams at me that I prefer, but... We're going to test it out today. We got some FMJs. We got some hollow points. See what this rifle kind of likes, or this upper, I should say. We got Norma 223. Sorry, it's kind of breezy. Hopefully, you're not buzzing around here. This 55 grain uh, FMJs, this tactical stuff, tactical. Let's see how that does. I don't even know if I've shot that yet. <clears throat> we got some 556 Winchester white box. This is 62 grain, the M855 green tip. This is the one that we did on our longer range devastation test. This is uh, 223 Federal. This is 50 grain. This is jacketed hollow point for varmint and predator. I actually kind of like that stuff. And surprisingly, I was able to find, as I was digging around, <clears throat> just a few rounds left of this ammo incorporated 223 55 grain ballistic tip nozzler varmageddon. This stuff actually worked really well, and I'm glad I found it. And I almost don't want to shoot it, but we're going to. All right, then we got a couple boxes of Frontier. We got the 556, 62 grain, full metal jacket. Then we got some Frontier 223, 68 grain uh, match bullets. These look like boat tail hollow point. Yep, match bullets. So we'll see how those do. These ones I haven't shot yet. They kind of intrigue me. These Igman, I think that's how you pronounce it, 55 grain FMJs. It's come in this tiny little box weird but i haven't shot those yet so i'm excited to see what those do and we got some aac america's ammunition company we got some 556 five, nato 75 grain hotel hollow point these are also match bullets as well uh obviously i must have shot a few of these because the box is open <laughs> i think we just did function tests with some of these but yeah a lot of these we haven't shot yet so we're going to get the target set up down at 100 yards we'll put you up close and we'll keep you up here as well let's see what happens all right, guys, again, we just got kind of a Frankenstein build going on here. We got an Anderson lower, so nothing extreme. We got our Foxtrot Mike 223 Wild Upper. Um, I got a few fancy parts here and there, but otherwise, it's kind of just a budget build on my AR-15 here. All right, guys, so we're going to do three-shot group. I know I should probably do five, but I'm not going to. Okay, so first up, we got the Federal 223 50 grain. I do believe that that's what this rifle in particular is sighted in for but i could be wrong <laughs> all right so we're going to take use a lead sled today uh to kind of take me out of the equation okay we've got to make sure we got all the zooms here parallax i'm going to take my glasses off though so i can see a little bit better all right guys here we go Blood kind of shimmied there a little. Front screw kindly finally uh, went to where I w thought I wanted it. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, it's kind of acting up on me here. Sorry. Nothing ever goes as planned doing YouTube videos. That one was way off, though. All right, here we go. Okay, 
with where we're at, I'm not exactly sure where that hit. But let's move it on to the next one. We got our ammo ink. This is uh, one of the ones I'm, I actually enjoy. <laughs> I think it shoots very well. Provides great devastation. And it would take very small to meaty, maybe medium game. That didn't look too bad. The first two looked like they were touching. The third one kind of went high. All right, let's move it on to the next. Alright, next up we got the Frontier Remington 68 grain Coattail Hollow Point Match. Obviously I've shot these, but uh, yeah, we didn't group them, <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how they do now. Not the greatest group, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's move it on to the next. We'll have to go down and see, because uh, I can't see exactly where everything's at right now. But let's load up our last two, see how they look. All right, guys, now we're up to the Igman. This is... 223, 55 grain, full metal jacket. Yeah, I haven't shot these ones yet. So we'll see how they do. Everything seems to be shooting a little low, so hopefully we're on paper here. load up our last one uh, last one for this group then we got three more after that but we got, we'll have to rehang the target so we'll have to go take a look all right guys last up for this one we got the AAC this is the 75 grain boat tail hollow point uh, these are 5.56. Five, Alright. Shot them before. <laughs> they function in this rifle, but we'll see how they group. I'm off the edge here. All right, let's go take a look how these ones did, and then we will set up our other target for our last three.
All right, guys, so off the bat, coming up to this target. Definitely nothing was screaming out at me here. Um, okay, so let's take a look at what we got. So we started off with the Federal. That was the uh, small game bar. So not too bad, probably an inch and a half group there, maybe an inch and three quarter. Not terrible for a hunting round. Okay, so we had the Ammo Inc. over here. I believe we had the two right there almost touching and then we had the one flyer so that's yeah definitely about a two and a quarter group okay so next we had the frontier two two three we had mm, then that was a uh, hotel hollow point i believe uh match bullets i could be wrong <laughs> i gotta look uh but we had a mm, little over an inch inch and a half group there we had the igman I got two on paper here, and then one of the other ones over here. We we do a lot of shooting on this box target. Sorry, guys. So definitely not the greatest group. We'll call that two there, um, inch and a half maybe. And then the AAC, absolutely horrible. That was about a two, two and a half inch group there with the two that I have on paper. Like I said, everything's shooting a little bit low except for that Federal. Uh, so we're going <laughs> to... We're going to put in the last, or hang up the target for our last three there. I know you guys are going to say, give it time, give it time. We were giving it time to cool down, guys. Cool your jets. <laughs> all right, so let's ha hang it up. And we got, I think these are all 5.56 five, rounds, and I think they're all full metal jackets. So I'm not expecting great results, but let's hang it up and see what happens. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got a friendly monarch gracing my rifle here. So we're going to let him be for a little bit. But uh, so far, the results haven't been the greatest, but I've definitely seen worse out of some of the rifles we've tested on this channel. We got three more to do. These are more planking rounds. First up, we're going to do the Winchester 5.56, the M855 green tips. Then we got the Norma tactical, and then the Frontier 5.56. So let's start it off with the Winchester. Hopefully this uh, Monarch kind of goes away a little bit. But, oop, a little breezy. All right. All right, let's load up the next one. All right, next up we got the Norma Tactical 223 Remington Full Metal Jacket. back on. I don't want to keep making that mistake. All right, let's load up our last one. All right, guys, last up, we got the Frontier 5.56. I believe this is 62 grain full metal jacket. All right, let's go take a look how we did. All 
All right, so coming up to the targets. Let's see, it looks like the Winchester. We had two on there and maybe that third up top. I could be wrong there. Nope, nope, nope. Looks like down here. Sorry. So we had three there. That is an absolutely horrible group, guys. That's, oh God. Probably three and a half inches. All right, the normal wasn't bad at all. Um, we had about an inch group there. I can deal with that. And then the Frontier 556 looks like we had a little over two inch group. So not the greatest. Um, and these are all factory rounds, guys. If we want to get technical, we'll have to get to uh, getting some hand loads tested out. Uh, maybe we'll do that down the road. Maybe we won't. Again, this is a Franken build, not a not a high price but or high priced uh, precision rifle, if you may. It's Fox Shock Mike Trot Fox Trot Mike 223 Wild Upper on an Anderson lower with a bunch of random parts put together. I uh, I've seen worse. We've had worse. <laughs> so not the not the worst, not the greatest. But uh, overall, I would say I'm okay with that. Um, I'm not sure offhand which one grouped the greatest. Maybe it was the Norma. Maybe it was the Ammo Inc. Um, maybe it was the Remington <laughs> or the uh, Federal, sorry. Federal small varmint rounds. Maybe it was those. I don't remember. I'll have to go back and look at the footage, but not too bad. All right, everybody, there you have it. This is Dave, Spider Monkey 2A. Give us a like, maybe share this video. Hope you subscribe. If not, thanks for stopping by.